Hi, and welcome to another Sunnyside Design tutorial. If you're joining us from the movie we just posted Tuesday, we're glad to have you back. Thanks for coming back. We shared with you how to make these beautiful bookmarks for Mother's Day. They are using these beautiful, totally dazzled gems, and we're kind of obsessed with them now. So we made these fun bookmarks that are really inexpensive. They're beautiful. They're easy to make. We did another project with yes, and they're a great gift yes great gift idea we also um made up a free printable that you can grab off of our website and then we used their slide and embellished some simple frames yep so with there will be beautiful links to our site for the stone. printable and then links to totally dazzled if you yep. want to get your hands on any of these and then today we're going to show you this. Our third Mother's Day idea. Okay, we've got these Aren't beautiful these flowers. We're going to show you how to make them and how we embellish them with the beautiful, totally dazzled rhinestone brooches. Yeah, we're, we're kind of obsessed right now. <laughs> we are, it's fun. <laughs> All right, for each flower, you're going to need four coffee filters. And you'll stack them on top of each other. So, and then we're going to fold them in half, and then fold it in half again, and then we're going to make some slits where these folds are. So I'll just slide my scissor in there and cut up, oh, maybe two-thirds of the way up. I like to do it until you kind of get to that part of the coffee filter where it would be rounded on the bottom. That there we go. <laughs> if the filter is open, it would be rounded on the bottom. Okay. I'll flip it over and get all of these sliced up. So three sides where it's been folded. Okay, and then I'm going to fold it in half one more time and slice up there one more time. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to make the edge shape of our petal. We're just going to kind of draw it with the pencil. And you want to kind of just round it down towards where we did the slit on either side. And then kind of scoop it in a little bit. Kind of think of a heart that's not a heart. <laughs> top of a heart. The top of a so heart. Pointy. And it doesn't have to be exactly even. It's not really going to matter. So it'll look something like that. Okay, and now we're going to just trim that off. And the key we decided for this step is really trimming down on the sides a little bit. Because if you don't go down far enough, your petal shape kind of just looks a little bit funny. Yeah, it looks like it's too jagged or too square instead yeah. of being a nice uh, curved edge on the petal. And if you find you don't like the shape, then just fold it back up and just trim down the side a little bit more. So I've got a little edge right there. I'm just going to trim that just a little bit. So it's a little more angry. All right, we have all of our, our cut shaped, the cut of the petals um, shape there. Now I'm going to open it up, and now what we want to do is curl the petals well, a little bit. Well, before, you what? can see, oh. we just wanted to show you oh. about how far down we cut. It's can about see? where the filter starts to round. That's what we were trying to oh, explain. Oh, and look, I'm going to show you right here, we got missed one little spot. So I'm going to just fix that. Okay, now we want to curl the petals. So I'm just using a pencil. That's my little junior. <laughs> Wants to come in the house. All right, so we're gonna just kind of roll that to curl the petals. We did find if you hold the pencil in there for a few seconds, it tends to work a little bit better. Yeah, just kind of squeeze it on there. See, that one's much better. Let's do that again. I'll hold it longer. You can also roll them individually. That actually works really well, but if you do them all folded together, it just saves It saves time. you a little time. If you're making a bunch of them. Okay. <laughs> Comic relief for you all today. <laughs> They've discovered doorbell ditching, so he's probably waiting till we come, but you know. This is what happens when kids are in quarantine <laughs> <laughs> and they have homeschool. 
and can't play with friends. And there's, and it gives us no free time. Either. Uh. <laughs> okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is open it up and we're going to take and we're going to alternate each coffee filter. So I'm going to place the petal so that the next petal will go over where the um, cut. V cut was. <laughs> okay, and oh, now he's there. at the back door. Don't worry. Grandpa's out there with him, you guys. We're not just <laughs> locking him out. <laughs> he's just trying to show us something. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to fold it in half now. Okay. He has a surprise. He has a surprise for me. Will so we'll come right back. All right, we are now going to form the flower. Sorry for that little pause, but he had to show me the tree that Grandpa chopped down because it was in the way of the swing. So, all right, I'm going to kind of do it. I'm left-handed, but I'm going to do it with my right hand because you can see it better. So I want to leave a little bit of an opening in the center, so I'm going to place my thumb kind of in the center and start wrapping the filters around there. And, and just kind of loosely. You don't want to be right. super tight. Think of like a, a cone <laughs> shape that we're forming. And there. So it'll be kind of open in the center. And we're going to secure it here with just a little bit of hot glue. All right. Hold that for just a second or two till it sticks. All right, okay, now we're gonna form the flower. And it is just as simple as pulling the petals down. We're just gonna go around and pull each layer down to form our flower. And once you get to this point too, after you've pulled down each of the petals, you can take the pencil again and kind of curl individual petals. It just really helps it make it a little bit more realistic. Yeah, it does. You can see that I didn't curl mine very well, it looks like. They're not quite as pretty and curled as I'd like them to be, but we'll fix that up in just a minute here. Just getting them all the way opened up. looks a little weird. I don't know. I didn't pull that around quite enough. Anyway, so there we go. Okay, now I can take the pencil again and I can curl some of those pieces. Okay, so at this point, um, you can leave it white. Um, but we're actually going to take it and we're going to just touch a little bit of paint on the tips of the flowers. Um, you can also paint the entire coffee filter before you roll it and we'll show you how we do that as well. Yep. All right, I have mixed up my paint here and you can see that it's really quite runny. I just added some water, white and red, to get this pink color. Um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to get my petals a little bit wet so that the paint will kind of bleed as I uh, brush it on. So I'm just cleaning out my brush so it's not full of pink at the moment. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of water where I'm gonna add the pink. So I'm just gonna touch the edges of the petals with the pink paint. Okay, so now the edges of the flower are wet. Now I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this pink and I'm just going to touch it on the edges. I love the way this looks too. It's really soft and delicate. Mm -hmm. Just think of a rose that's just the Tiffany rose maybe, which has just that little bit of pink on the edges of the flower. Yeah, we'll show you this next to the fully colored one. Yeah, when we're you'll all see finished. the difference. They're, they're both beautiful. They just have a different look to them. Yeah, this is just going to be a little bit different look. Get a little bit more on these outer petals here. 
All right, and then we'll just let this dry and then we will show you what it's going to look like all complete. All right. I'm gonna show you the other method that we did having the colors more of a colored version. So what you're gonna do, we've gotten it to this point where we have it cut to the shape and we've unfolded it. You don't need to roll the petals at this point for this kind of flower, but you will want to take them all apart and then you will fold them each in half. And I just have a foil lined cookie sheet right here because we're gonna place these in the oven um, at 350 for about 10 minutes just to speed up the drying process. But if you have a little bit more time on your hands, you can definitely let them just air dry. So you can use watercolor paints, acrylic. We're using acrylic today, but we're gonna use um, a lot of water so that it mimics watercolors. Our first thing we're gonna do is wet each of the flowers down with plain water first. Once they have been wet down, you're going to mix the color of your choice. We're gonna do kind of a lilac color. So we've got a little bit of blue on the plate and some red. We're just gonna start mixing that together. And really, this is kind of the fun part because you can make it any color you want. I want mine to be more a spring, like that's kind of a deep fall purple to me. So I'm gonna add quite a bit of white to lighten this up a bit. And this process really does work best if you, again, are just kind of thinking in terms of watercolor paint. So just having it thinned down enough. All right, now you're gonna move over to your flowers and you're gonna do kind of this uh, circle area first where the coffee filter is rounded. Do the each, flat surface of the coffee filter. Right, where it would sit flat if it were still open. And I'm just dabbing on the paint. You're gonna go ahead and do this to um, each side. After that, I'm going to clean out my brush a little bit and then just take plain water and just drag that paint up a bit. It's just gonna soften that edge a little bit, make it look a little bit more natural. Isn't it kind of fun looking already? The paint just kind of bleeds. And then I actually, you can still see the paint here. I was gonna make like a deeper purple for the middle and I forgot because I was going more for the middle at that moment. But you do wanna uh, make sure you paint both of the sides. So for the middle, I'm gonna do a deeper purple because that's gonna be the center of the flower. What are your favorite spring flowers or any flowers really? We love hydrangeas and peonies. Just those really full flowers are both of our favorites. Yep. Okay, so once you've got your petals flipped over, you're just gonna paint exactly like you did before. I'm gonna start with my lighter one around the edges and apply it in the same spot. And you know what's fun about this project is you probably already have coffee filters at home, so you really don't have to run out and buy anything. And acrylic paint, crafting and paint. just craft paint. Yeah. So if you've got some paint, you've got some coffee filters, you got some hot glue, you can make these. Yep. And really, they come together pretty quick. They do. All right, we've had our flowers in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350, just to help speed up the drying process. All right, for these um, colored ones, we're actually just gonna roll each of the petals individually. And we find rolling them individually actually works a lot better, not only because it's thinner, but I think um, just having them painted and then in the oven just kind of makes it a little crispier. Now that the petals have all been curled, we're gonna open up the flowers. And you can see here that as they dried flat, that one side, the side that was down, got more of the color. And that's okay because when you put the flowers together, it really doesn't matter. 
But we're just gonna do the same method as before. You're gonna put the petals in opposite directions and just kind of stagger them out. I'm also kind of turning the coffee filter here to make sure that I have some darker in different areas. Okay, then once you get to this point, just kind of make sure it's in a nice circle and then you're gonna fold it in half and then you're gonna roll it like we did before. She kind of does it with her thumb. I do my finger, it's okay. <laughs> Whatever is comfortable for you. I'm sticking my thumb in there too, I lied. But yeah, you don't wanna do it too tight in the center because you're gonna want enough room to stick your gem. Yes, we've got those beautiful brooches from Totally Dazzled. That's what we're, we're using for the centers of our flower to give them a little glitz and glam. So, got to make room for those in the center. Okay, so I'm just going to let that dry. I glued right up to the edge of the petal. And then you will start pulling down the petals like before. Okay, once it's open, you want to make sure you have enough room in there that the gem will fit. At this point, you can take your pencil again and kind of recurl any of the petals if you think it needs it. But look how gorgeous it is already. I love it. They are beautiful. I really love them. Okay, now we're going to show you how to put it on to your stem. We picked up a big bunch bundle, I just have a, it was a large I don't know what you call it, yeah. from Hobby Lobby. And then we yeah. actually got five about this length from that one purchase. So we're gonna take our scissors here and cut off the tip of the bottom of the flower. So you can kind of see here that there's a little opening. We're gonna stick a little bit of glue in there. And then we're gonna stick this right into the top of that flower stem. And then try to pinch it closed too, a little bit. So we'll just let this dry for a second. Then we're gonna take a little bit of floral tape and just wrap around the edge here where the flower meets the stem, just so it looks a little bit more natural. If you've never worked with floral tape before, you just want to stretch it. Well, <laughs> and it breaks too, because that's how it rips. You want to stretch it as you wrap because uh, that will release the adhesive and get it to stick. And it sticks to itself. Yes. That's the way it works, it sticks to itself. Just wrap it around a few times. You can come down on the stem a little bit if you want. And then when you have enough, just rip it. So here's kind of the shot with the floral tape on. You also want your um, leaves to not be going the same directions just to make it look a little bit more natural. Okay, now we just have to glue the little bling on. So again, these are from totallydazzled.com. They are gorgeous. You can get them in all sorts of shapes and sizes. This one, the back has a little buttonhole. You can get pins, brooches. Flat backs. Flat backs. You can actually, yeah, the flat back doesn't have anything on the back. So they all are wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and take this little V, I clipped off the bottom of my flower and I'm gonna glue it in the middle there. That just gives me a little bit more of a surface to glue the little gem to. So I'm gonna put the point down, show you there. So that kind of makes a fun little center anyway, but we are gonna blink it up because it's beautiful. So I'm gonna add a little bit more glue in there And then just stick this right in there. Isn't that gorgeous? They look so realistic. I love them. I think I'm going to make a bouquet for every room in my house. <laughs> <laughs> They're so pretty. Well, here's our finished bouquets of flowers that we made. Didn't they turn out beautiful? This one here has the rhinestone brooches that are the silver and the pearls that are the totally dazzled brooches from the next pack. 
And over here in this bouquet, we did the uh, rhinestone brooches that are from the rose gold collection. Aren't those gorgeous? With the pink and the coral flowers here. So please comment and let us know what you think. If you're going to try these, if you would do anything different, we'd love to hear from you. Didn't this turn out pretty? Isn't that this just makes the most beautiful bouquet of love flowers? It. I love it. And this would be a great gift for someone, a Mother's Day gift, or just make a bouquet and put it in your house like, somewhere. Spring is I mean, coming. it's just so pretty. Isn't I love that pretty? It. And just a little bit of bling in there yep. with those totally dazzled. Uh, rhinestone embellishments are yep. gorgeous. So be sure to look below in the links. We'll have a link to Totally Dazzled where you can get your own. We love their products. You can buy direct from them. They ship right from the USA, so it's quick shipping. They have no like minimum purchase, so you can buy a thousand of these beauties or just one. Or just it doesn't one. matter. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we ended up getting like a multi-pack, so we got about 15 Nope, 10. We got 15 dollars. <laughs> yeah. So they were a little over a dollar a piece. Pretty Inexpensive. amazing for the quality that they are. They are. Yeah. So they're beautiful. We love them. So go check out that link and see what other products they have. Um, also, be sure to subscribe to our channel if you like our projects. Share with your friends. Um, tap that bell notification so you know when our new movies come out. And um, also, just be sure to check out our social media. All the links are below. We have a ton more. DIY projects on our website that you might enjoy and comment below. We love hearing from you. Yeah. Um, Show us how or tell us how you would use these beautiful brooches. Yeah. Let us let us know what you would do and give us some more ideas of things that we could yeah. do. Yep. And we've showed you three ideas, the flowers, bookmarks, and the picture frame. So yeah, show us what you've got. We love to Yeah, we've got more ideas get, just we do, twisting actually. in our heads uh, that <laughs> be we'll be showing for you later. More videos yeah. coming. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks again for joining us. And as always here at Sunnyside Design, um, we hope to bring your home to the sunny side of the street.